Hello students, today we will see chordates and their classification. In the next video, we will see their characteristic features. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the chordates are classified in the presence of notochordate, notochord. Uh, so, which animals possess notochord is come under chordates. Okay, now let's classify. This is phylum, okay, kingdom animalia, phylum chordates. Now, this chordates is divided into two subgroups. What are they? Let's see now. One, two subgroups. What are they? A craniator and craniator on the basis of brain box, on the basis of the cranium. Okay, on the basis of cranium, chordates are divided into two subgroups. So let's see that. This is proto chordata as they are uh, primary. So they are proto chordata. This one is u chordata. Okay, u chordata as they are developed ones. Proto chordata and u chordata on the presence of brain box. So no brain box, absence of brain box is marked by no brain box that is cranium brain box is present cranium is present okay so next one is this protocol data have subphylum what are they so they are groups two subgroups of chordates are proto data and u data. this is two subgroups okay subgroups and this one of the subgroup proto data is divided into two subphylum what are these phylum or subphylum is first one euro data euro data and the second phylum, the second subphylum is cephalochordata. Okay. On the basis of what they have classified this, let's see. This protocol is divided into two subphylum, correct? This is two subphylum. Clear? Two subphylum. This two subphylum is classified as Eurochordata and cephalochordata and the presence of their notochord in the life, life span. If they are present only during the larval stage in the tail, tail region only will have the notochord. Here they have from the head to the tail. So let's mark it on the basis of what? Only tail notochord is present. Okay. This one cephalochordate from head to tail. Notochord is present. Clear? <coughs> yeah. So, on the basis of notochord, in the present in their lifespan is classified into eurochordate and cephalochordate. Okay. Now, this eurochordate has only one subphylum. They are vertebrates. Okay. Vertebrates that to be come under. So this is only one subphylum. Subphylum is only one. So chordates, two subgroups. They are protochordata, u chordata, and protochordata is divided into two subphylum. They are eurochordata and cephalochordata. So eurochordata and cephalochordata come under protochordata. Eurochordata, -co okay. Eurochordata has only one subphylum. Well, protochordata has two subphylum. This one subphylum is vertebrates. Now we will break this vertebrates. We have told that the group eurochordata has only one subphylum as vertebrata. So now we will break that. This vertebrata has two subdivisions on the basis of presence of jaws. So first one is Ignata. Ignata. They are jawless. Here 
gnato stomata gnato stomata is jar vertebrates so they are jawless egnata jawless they are presence of jaw seen okay next egnata is a sub group correct this sub group egnata has classes what are they we will classify that one class is extinct okay egnatas first class osta ostraco ostracodermi ostracodermi or extinct one and cyclostomata is present so this cyclostomata is present this ostracodermi is extinct okay now let's write that this ostracodermi is extinct okay now we will come to the gnathostomata the jawed vertebrates the jawed vertebrates have two super class okay two super class first one is pieces the pieces and the second one is tetra poda tetra poda so pieces is they have fins okay tetra poda have limbs so these are the major difference they have fins they have limbs clear yeah next this pieces this is super class okay super class this is class they won't have super class this super class have their separate classes here we have three classes they are first one is placodermy placodermy and uh, chondrich thighs chondrich thighs Rich thighs and ostate thighs ostate thighs clear so placodermy chondrich thighs ostate thighs we will see this uh, characteristics in the next video we will just classify in now clear placodermy chondrich thighs pco pco keep that in mind the classes of pieces P, C and O. Placodermy, chondrich thighs and ostage thighs. Now this tetrapod. The super class tetrapod has four classes. We will write that here. We know we, from lower classes we are studying that. Amphibia. Amphibia. Reptalia. Reptilia, apes, and mammalia. Clear? So we'll see the yeah? characters in the next video. So now let's revise it. Vertebrates. We are seeing the this is subphylum vertebrates. This subphylum vertebrate has two subgroups. They are Ignata and Gnathostomata. Ignata, they are jawless. Gnathostomata, presence of jaws. This Ignata has two classes. What are they? Ostracodermy. Ostracodermy and Cyclostomata. This Gnathostomata has superclasses. Two superclasses. What are they? Pieces and pieces and Tetrapoda. This pieces has classes Pinacodermy, Conrich thighs and Ostrich thighs. Okay. This tetrapods have four super class, four subclasses. They are amphibia, reptilia, apes, mammals. This is classes four. This have class three. Okay, so that's it. Today's classification video have completed. So if you have any doubt, please comment in the comment section and subscribe our channel for more videos, children.